Welcome back, everyone, to the Bitcoin Business Bureau. I'm your host, as always, Litecoin Leader. We're back at it again. Here we are on Monday, and we're getting right back into the news. There's been a lot of the news the last few days. Uh, with, there was on certain topics. We're not going to talk about you know Supreme Court decisions today. We may on a future episode, but today we're going to talk about the financial markets, the G7, uh, Russia, gold, and all the things that are impacting uh, the, the G7, the world economies, and how that might ripple back to uh, the U.S. economy very quickly. So let's start by, let me share my screen here. <laughs> Right, the right window. All right, and that is this one. Okay, so here we go. So, first story Russia, <clears throat> excuse me. So, Russia's in, in debt default as the payment deadline passes. So, every so often, every country has to pay, uh, make an interest payment on their bonds. So, Russia's now defaulted on its debt for the first time since 1998. Uh, this is back to the point where there were sanctions in the SWIFT system. They're not allowing uh, Russia to have access to their euro supply or their U.S. dollar supply. So they're saying, we'll pay it in rubles. They've been saying that for months. But uh, they're not, you know, the, the, the debtors, the people that want to get paid, are not accepting rubles. So now there's a crisis because allegedly Russia's, uh, Russia's not making these payments as they agreed to because they can't. But they're saying, hey, you can take rubles. And rubles are tied to gold, so they're trying. The Russians are trying to make people use rubles and get involved in their economy. So the other thing that's happening right now is that the G7 is trying to exclude Russia from the world economy. So this this announcement came out uh, a couple of days ago, yesterday. Uh, G7 to announce a ban on import of new Russian gold on Tuesday. So now we've already got you know, we've already got issues about now they don't want them taking Russia's uh, oil. Now there's now they want uh, and, they, and they froze their assets in the Western world and euros and dollars. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now that the, uh, the the banning the imports of Russian gold on Tuesday, so now that can impact different gold markets because now Russia is one of the top holders in the world of gold are not going to be able to share it. So now, uh, so going into a couple of stories, this is just the what if. So what if people, what if banks start to demand more gold? So a, go, a run on gold historically is specific meaning. People take paper money to banks and exchange paper for gold. We'll get to the paper money in a moment. To a lesser degree, they take paper money to government bins and exchange paper for gold. So basically a run on a gold market or run on a market comes from taking paper and trying to exchange it for the real asset. So if you look up here, you know, what's the issue with gold? The powerful forces of banking, this is from two years ago, said the uh, rapidly evolving financial crisis and global derivatives whose gross value is over $600 trillion. So uh, I think that I think that's a reasonable number. So I think that's, I don't know if that's the size of just gold. So the gold derivative, so, so the, the contracts and the gold here in, throughout this article, it's a lot of paper compared to actual gold. So the uh, let's say 60 million traded on a day, 60 million ounces or 1. Uh, 1,866 tons a day, which is way more than they actually have. So basically um, what's happening here is that you've got the G7. Let me share this other image of what the G7 looks like. This is the G7. So you have Germany, UK, France, Canada, US, Italy, and Japan. Just outside of the G7 is the G8, which is Russia. Then it comes to G20 with everybody else. So, and that's the 20th largest economies. And this is where your BRICS nations get in. You get Brazil, China, India, uh, South Africa, uh, and Russia. That's the fifth one. So all these countries, you know, like these are all outside of the G7s. So the G7 is basically saying, hey, we're going to ban these countries or everybody. We're not going to take your Russian. We don't want your Russian oil. We don't want your Russian gold. So what that might happen is that if these countries start to have financial issues and people start saying, hey, your economy is shaky, we want our gold back, uh, such as the uh, Bank of Japan, has said the Bank of Japan, they're staring down the bond market. They have bond issues right now. And excuse me. So they uh, they're having issues. The bond market in Japan, they they're trying they want a two percent target for inflation. They're now at two point one percent and they control a lot of the market. So if people start thinking that these economies are shaky. And they want their gold. And they start trying to, uh, let me drop out of here for a minute. 
So if they want their if they want their money back, they want basically say, hey, I you've got all this gold on paper. I want to I don't believe this paper's worth what it, you know. A lot of exchanges for gold are done on paper. Then actually that you it's a lot easier to move paper around the world than it is actual physical gold bars. Heavy security, um, piracy, all those issues are in play. So that's why paper was in, invented to represent gold. But unfortunately, they made way too much paper, the fractional reserve lending systems. Now, I think there's about 100 claims uh, to there's 100 claims. Uh, so there, on paper, there's 100 times as many claims as there is actual gold. So if you want to like so one ounce of gold has 100 claims against it for I, I, they say on paper, I own a, an ounce of gold. So if everybody says if even two of those 100 say I want my gold, then there's too many too much demand for the actual gold supply. Now we have a con like the world, the, the Western Western financial world saying Russia's uh, resources are no, no, not wanted. We don't want their gold. We don't want their oil. Their, their oil. We don't want them in the, to play in this market. And now you have the, one of the G7, like Japan, is having a bond crisis. Germany's going to have issues. All these G7, let me share that again. The G7 is, image is right here. So there we go. So if I shrink my shrink myself down so you see you know germany has issues if canada has issues, italy's having issues now japan has issues there's not enough gold in the marketplace to satisfy if the creditors would say you know what i don't trust this paper anymore i want my gold back so that could be an issue very quickly in the marketplace so something to watch and i'll be talking more about um going getting back to crypto and coming back to this but you know, the, the demand for gold is going to uh, lead to demand for digital gold and that's going to lead to demand for Bitcoin. So excluding Russia's supply of gold is going to have a major impact that they're not going to talk about, but you need to keep an eye on. So my, my channel and other channels are going to be the way to the window into that. So if you want more information, just, you know, join my Patreon, uh, get on my Telegram, get on my AMAs. There's going to be no AMA this week because it's the fifth Wednesday of the month. So I think we're going to take a, a week off and come right back after it in July. But there's plenty of news. There's plenty of stuff going on, on Patreon. Uh, I'm sharing more information there about a, a, a Texas location uh, that's going to be uh, that's that sells local meats. So um, w there's lots more to talk about. But to this video, I just want to focus on the world economy and gold. So what are your thoughts? Are you are, are you are you watching the gold market? Are you involved in precious metals? What are you thinking about how, what we're doing in Russia and how they fit in the you know, global economy? You know, leave a leave a comment down below, like and subscribe, share, get a notification bell for when the next video comes out. Uh, Lots more videos are be coming out in the, in the in the short term as we head into the Fourth of July weekend. Lots of news going to be coming out about the second quarter. They're finally going to determine that or label this as a an official recession because we're going to have good domestic production in the United States. So stay tuned for lots of interesting information that comes out this week and next. So with all that said, I'm going to close the door on the bureau. Say follow leader one more time, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.